Welcome to each topic. In this video, I am going to explain the programming practice of chapter 8, class 9, computer science. These programs we have to write in C program. The first program is write a, and execute a C program to print your name. I am going to do the program in code block. So first when we will open the code block, it will look like this. And if your computer does not have code block, you can download and install it for free. You can just search code block in Google and you will get it there. First we have to create a new file, for that we will go to file menu, then new and we will select empty file. So empty file will open, now we will save the file, for that we will press ctrl and s together. After that this window will open, we will select the location where we want to save the file. Suppose I am going to save the file in desktop, so desktop and here we will give the file name as I am doing question number 1, so q1.c. As the file is C programming, so .c. C is the extension of the source file. And save. So done. Now, when we write a C program, our first line is the header file. So we'll add the header file, hashtag, include, then angle bracket, stdio, means standard input output, dot h, means header. Then we'll go to next line. Here we'll add, add the main function. int, it is the return type of the main function. Main, that means our program must return an integer value. Okay. Now we will go to the next line. Here we'll start curly braces. Start and opening will come automatically. Here, as we have to display our name, uh, for that we are writing printf print f then bracket and here we'll write the name you can write like this way my name is your name whatever i am writing my name only okay now after finishing the statement semicolon semicolon is the termination of any c statement then we'll go to again next line here we'll write return zero return zero means our program work successfully okay now we'll have to go to build menu to compile the program so build and we will select here build and run also we can press f9 key to run the program so i am pressing build and run let's see what will happen it will take time depending on the computer processing speed. If your computer is fast enough, it will do in just few seconds or if you are doing it for the first time, it may take little time. So this is the output. My name is Rafik. Now, this is the code. You can pause the screen and see. Now we'll move to the next question here. Write and execute a C program to print your name and your mother's name in two different lines but using single printf statement. The program will be same, just I have written my name. Now I have to write my mother name also in next line. So for that uh, we'll bring our mouse, mouse cursor to the graphic. So I am coming here. Slash n after that we'll give one space and here write my mother name is something x y z as we have written here slash n that uh, insert a new line so whatever we write after slash n it will display in back now we'll display the output The output will be this way. First line, my name is Rafiq. Second line, 
my mother name is x y z so this way we will get the output of second question now we will move to the third question write and execute a c program to print sentence i am from assam and i am a responsible citizen of my country i am copying this statement and we have to do it for five times now we will go to the compiler here that printf statement will remove it before one we'll write here again print f and inside bracket within inverted comma we will paste the line whatever i have recently copied okay now after country i will write a slash n so that uh, i will get the output at next output at new line now we'll copy this line for that first i will select the line then copy for that control plus c now we will put a semicolon here semicolon sorry then next line and paste two done again paste three done semicolon again paste again paste so five times done now we will run the program this is my output it displayed for the five uh, four five times uh, i think i have missed the full stop we can give the full stop also no problem full stop here also full stop here also full stop full stop and full stop now by using shortcut key i will run the program the shortcut key is f9 so this is the output it displayed four to five times uh, we can use loop to display uh, for the five times or ten times that you will learn in class 10 not now now we'll move to the next question remove the semicolon from the c program of previous question semicolons means all the semicolon will remove and compile the program and check the errors not the number line and rectify them now we will remove all the semicolon first second third fourth and fifth now we will uh, also this one return zero semicolon now we will compile the program for that f9 now it's displaying red color that means warning let's me view the warnings i have hidden the warnings logs so here we can see the warning you can see here error expected semicolon before printf that means before this printf statement here line number is 5 before this printf statement we have to give a semicolon uh, now if i do i have removed one line now it will show the line number four line number four error expected semicolon before printf now let's give the semicolon here now we will compile and see we will see the line number now five now it's five semicolon expected before printf if i give here also then i will get line number six now you'll see here line number six so as we i correct the mistakes the line number will change now line number seven now suppose i am giving here also here also just return zero no semicolon still we will get a mistake error semicolon expected before bracket token now let give the semicolon here also now run the program now we will get the output so this is the output for the five times now we will move to the next question here write and execute a c program to print your name in order of last name and first name uh, name but you will pass the 
them first uh, last name order inside printf use proper escape sequence <coughs> Now for that we will go here, inside printf I have to print my last name and first name, let we understand the question again better way. Write, a, write and execute a C program to print your name in the order of last name and first name, means last name should become first then, uh, then the first name. But you will pass them in the first last name order, inside printf. first name last name order okay let us do it we will write printf then we will write first last name which is my ahmed then slash we will write here r then the first name which is rafiq now we will compile the program and check the output It will take a here you can see only displayed as Rafik because I as I have written here slash R so whatever I have written before R that part is skipped so these are the solution of the practical practice of chapter 8 in next video we will discuss uh, chapter 9 questions practical questions uh, explanation I have already done last year only I will give the link from there you can see the explanation also chapter exercise answers thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye